how to build your new construction house from the scratch. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor with EXP Realty. Today I'm gonna explain to you how to build your new construction house from the scratch. Yes, there are some stages when you are building your new construction house. They are from stage 1 to stage 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Alright, those stages are important especially if you are building from the scratch. Why? Because you don't know what stages you are if you don't track your progress. So if you are planning to buy a new construction house, or you're planning to build your house make sure to watch this video from this start until the end because I'm gonna explain you how this thing works because this is important all right but before I start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't done so and also the most important thing you know that smash that like button for me and share this video to all family and friends especially for those people or family that who would like to build their house from the scratch or wants to buy a new construction house all right so without further ado let's jump into it so number one that i'm gonna tell you or the first stage that i will tell you about when building a new construction house is this is the plans and permitting so what do you mean like plans and permitting so when you are building a property or building a house you cannot just like hey i want to build here you know i will just gonna buy this land or buy this lot and then i will put the house here no it doesn't do like that way so they have like stages so the first stage is the permitting okay and planning so once you have have a lot or land they say and then once you bought that land what will happen is you need to apply a permit what kind of permit that you need to apply so this is kind of permitting in that particular area like is this particular land is zoned for residential use or is this zone for industrial use or is this zone for agricultural use all right they are like different kind of zoning when you are planning to buy a land for that specific property okay so make sure sure that before you buy that land you make your permission or permitting before you do anything else all right because some people do they just like forget about the permitting and then just build the house there and then they last minute they will just find out i don't have a permit to live here because this is zone industrial or agricultural area and now you already built your house there so you don't know what to do all right so planning and permitting is very important so you need to take note of that one all right i hope that's helpful so let's the second stage is once you have your planning and permit done so what you need to do is this is like the site work okay what do you mean like the site work so what will happen is once you get permit done you need to get your site to make sure that this site is good for building house let's say for example if this site has a, a lot of uh, wetlands or is this site is good for building a property or is this good for a foundation of the house so you need to think about this this kind of stuff because you know you cannot just build a house there you have a permit and then build a house there and then what happen is you don't have a pipe you know for your water to get inside your property and then you will have nothing in there okay you don't have water you don't have some uh, electric or you don't have like a line for internet or, or cable or something like that so they need to consider that yet okay rather than get a permit and rather than like build a house there and then get your permit and and then build a house straight away you need you need to have like a site check first or i would say or site or site plan check okay because that is important when building a house we cannot just like build a house straight away okay so remember that one and that's important as well so the third stage that you need to think about is framing so framing is important so what do you mean about framing this is where you put your house you know start building it okay so let's say the house is have a foundation so they will start to frame that okay so they will start putting some cement or they are putting some woods or they're gonna put some something you know to start building your house this is like the construction the first construction stage that they are going to do to build your house okay because once they have like the site check they once they have the permit so they're gonna start doing the framing and also that's the time as well that they're gonna get the material for you like for example like the 
lumber or the woods that they need to build for your house and also some cement or let's say bricks or whatever you're gonna use to build your house all right this is the stage of when you're building a house and then when your framing is gonna happen okay this is very important because like if you are building a house and then you need to make sure that you have the right frame or the right material using for your house because sometimes especially here in central florida or in florida generally we recommend to have like a cement or concrete in your house okay why because here in florida we have a lot of typhoon here okay and storm so if you have like a weak foundation or a weak material in your house what will happen to your house it will go away straight away it will destroy by typhoon or any kind of tropical storm if your house or the material of the house is not that good or it's weak so make sure whatever you're gonna use or the material you're gonna use it's good for that particular weather I very suggest if you can get like a concrete always go for a concrete because a concrete house is a lot better compared to other stuff like let's say wood or lumber if they're gonna compare the wood and lumber to concrete obviously concrete is most stable and most hard or better than the wood or than the lumber if you know what I'm trying to say okay so here in Florida if you have like let's say a two-story house so the first story is like we don't have like a second floor. So the first floor has to be like in concrete. And the second floor, if you want to put some wood or lumber there of your second floor as the material of your property, you can do that one. Because the main important is like the first floor has to be a concrete or cement because that will protect your house especially for tropical storm or you know inclement weather here in Florida that's the most important thing all right so remember that one so that's the stage three let's go to my stage four this is where you're gonna put your plumbing your electrical and also your air conditioning stuff and you know other stuff inside of your house so let's say you have your foundation ready okay so once your foundation ready they're gonna start putting some material inside of your house and then they're gonna start working in your electrical okay this stuff is really important as well so every stages of the house they have like an inspection here is in florida specifically every stage or the phase that i just talked about here they have like a county inspection okay that is important because like you cannot just build a house and you think oh i did correct you know i will just build 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 and then i don't care about who inspected because i know that this house is good okay so each stage of the house starting from stage two they will have like a county inspection so that make sure that whatever you're building in this particular area or a particular house is will be approved by the inspector or the county inspector okay you need to think about that one because you cannot just say oh i can say this is good house and there's no problem there's always have an inspection okay you need to take note on that one so once they do your plumbing your electrical they will inspect that after the you know who, who whoever your builder was who did your those particular area or those particular job because once inspected and it's failed the inspection what will happen is you know they have to redo it or take something that they didn't do right or correctly because obviously you will live there make sure that the house is in good state or in good order after they did the job Okay? because without the inspection what will happen to your house you know it will be not good and then you're not be satisfied if it's this good house or not okay so you need to remember that one so the last stage I'm gonna talk about here is the insulation the drywall and the flooring okay that's the last stage that they are going to do or going to build your house so let's say once they put the plumbing the air conditioning you know the electrical all the stuff so they will go for the last stage of this which is the drywall drywall and the flooring and also the insulate insulating okay so why this is important okay they put this like the last part of the property or when you're building the house is just because like they cannot put like a good flooring there if you know if your house is not fully built because like if you're gonna put like a nice tile or nice flooring there people keep walking around they keep working in your property and then if they drop something in there and it's got broke so they have to replace it again so that's why they have to do the flooring 
and also the drywall and the insulating like the last part so that once everything is good what they will do you don't have to think about if they miss something because it's already done the house is fully built okay so you need to remember that and also the last thing that I'm gonna talk about here is like a bonus one for you they have like a final inspection okay then you need to remember the final inspection because that is important so even though like whatever I said earlier which is the county inspection once they've done that one you need to have a final inspection okay because that is important if you don't have like a final inspection what will happen is it will be hard for you to know if everything is good okay final inspection probably will cost you from between $300 to $500 okay there are like different kind of inspection that you can pay and also it depends on the inspector to how much they charge okay they have like a full inspection they have like final inspection and also they have like a drywall and insulating inspection as well so my recommendation if you are building your house and if you're using the builder always go for final inspection if you want to save some more money because sometimes if you're gonna do the overall inspection with the inspector it will cost you thousand dollars and above you know to get everything inspected again because remember if you are going to build a property county inspection they will do that one for you every stages so if you all want to do like the final inspection just do the final inspection so that's the video for today guys i know this video is too long i'm sorry but before i stop this video if you watch this video until this end comment down below new construction so I can see how many people who watch this video until this end. And I really appreciate your time watching my video. And I'll see you on my next one. Peace. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor with EXP Realty. What I'm gonna say? I forgot. <laughs> okay.